Hi, it's Matt Bisogno here and uh, I thought I'd do a short video um, highlighting a few of the newer features soon to appear on GG's and uh, also encompassing a few old favourites. Um, so this is actually a test installation of the race cards. Um, it's got some of the new stuff that's going live very soon, um, hopefully by the middle of this week. Just a few things needed as you'll see as we go along. Um, I'm going to look at uh, tomorrow's racing, Monday 14th of July, Bastille Day in France. Um, and uh, the first thing that uh, those of you familiar with the race cards will notice is that there's um, a new drop down box uh, where the going is displayed. And the purpose of this box is to allow the user to uh, factor in any changes to the overnight going description. So for example this week at Newmarket the advertised going was good to firm. Um, they were deluged on Thursday and the going ended up being soft. Um, in order to accommodate that with the new cards you simply change the going to soft uh, and then as a consequence of that um, that change is replicated all the way through so you can see the going is soft here you can see in the race analysis now renamed instant expert uh, report for obvious reasons I hope you can see the going is changed in the range there to soft and also you can see in the um, in the full form filters let me just find a horse with with a uh, soft ground win let's try uh, first in command right so you can see in the full form filters for first in command if I select the going filter it highlights all that horse's soft ground runs as opposed to good ground um, which was the advertised the advertised going so this is a real um, this is a real significant move forward for the cards I think um, it, it certainly enables uh, a lot a lot of um, analysis to happen in a short space of time which is what you need if the if if the going changes um, very late what tends to happen with um, some of these clerks of the course is that they they know that it's been teeming down with rain all day but they leave the going as what it was before the first race um, and then change it after the first race so that can involve a lot of unpicking for um, for uh, betters who are looking in real time um, and this is a, a huge saving I think. Um, another thing uh, of interest, let's use this opening race at Lingfield tomorrow evening, um, uh, particularly of interest I think um, in races where the level of form is minimal um, and the horses are uh, may have run once or twice in maiden races as it, as is the case here. Um, we've added something to the uh, to the inline form on the right hand side called then what. Um, one of the things that we still need to do is to stylize this a bit so it, it looks a bit um, it's a bit easier to read but but basically what this does is it um, we can see that Bannister Bell finished fourth of five beaten nine lengths but we don't really have any context uh, in terms of what he raced against um, except that now we do because we can see on the right hand side of the page that um, two horses have come out of this race since um, one of them has won and the other one has been placed as well so both have placed one of which won um, so <clears throat> this ostensibly not very good looking run uh, could probably be marked up um, a notch or two on the basis of the the, the subsequent uh, race performances of the runners that have come out of it and in actual fact we can take that a step further by looking at the result of that previous race um, and we can actually see excuse me while I change the view um, we can see that uh, the race winner has come out and won again since and the second place horse was the was the one that came out and placed since um, the other three, including Bannister Bell, have yet to run again. Um, and the, and the the thing, the material element here might be that there were seven lengths back to the third. So maybe you don't want to be getting too excited about Bannister Bell, but you can see quite clearly that this this um, additional data on the results pages 
will be of uh, some considerable value to those of you that like to look through the form on in the GG's gold race cards. So um, other things to look out for uh, the short list which is used to be quite a popular daily post that I put together um, it now has its own um, location in the report selector and the shortlist is put together based on the historical win and place performance of, of all of the runners each day um, and it's taken from the uh, instant export the race analysis report instant expert as it is now um, you can see uh, for each row they've got green, amber, red or grey which correlates to the instant expert report um, so if we look at tomorrow's report these are the win ones and what I tend to do is sort by um, going and I'm looking at the, the, the green ones on going and then I'm looking at all of the other um, indicators I'm really I'm looking for a line of green or maybe um, a line of green and ambers so in that context um, Chantry at Lingfield in the 720 is of mild interest maybe of mild interest and Miss Tenacious in the 440 at Newton Abbott um, could also be vaguely interesting and we can sort by place as well so these are Monday's place uh, possibles and again I'm going to sort by going and I'm looking for a line of green and I think I have one here yes Lingfield Park Chantry um, has a full block of green so in each way terms that might be a very sound bet now obviously you want to go and have a look in more detail at um, at, at that horse's rivals and uh, see if it's see if it's um, if the pace suits uh, in actual fact why don't we do that let's have a look at um, Chantry and the 720 at Lingfield and we can see um, by clicking on that horse it takes us straight to the um, the race analysis report stroke instant expert um, and we can see that it's got a very robust uh, place profile um, and a pretty robust uh, win profile as incidentally as punk um, if we look at the pace analysis just to get a feel for how the race might be run uh, we can see that Chantry will probably be on or close to the lead um, there isn't a huge amount of pace in the race there are three that kind of want to go on and, and punk is one of those incidentally um, I think uh, depending on the price Chantry might be quite interesting it's got it's drawn in nine so it's probably not ideally drawn um, but but should be able to get across and because there's not much pace here um, so it should be able to get across and track presumably punk will lead um, track punk and um, obviously it, its profile suggests it's it's placed to win today um, other things that to keep in mind uh, are Lady Cecil's form uh, and we can see that her recent form is very good so she's got a green 14 form indicator her one year course form well that's actually um, only going to be this year and the end of last year is very good and um, so her C1 and C09 will be the same because she only took over the license from the late Sir Henry uh, in around about this time last year um, interestingly I think we can also see that the jockey um, is in great form in both 14, 30 day and course one year so he rides this course well um, uh, Chantry has a has an awful lot of positives in its favour it's a course and distance winner as well um, we check head to head hasn't run against any of the other horses in the race um, but it, it, it's, it's very easy to make a case for Chantry to run a big race in the 7 20 at Lingfield. Um, the only other thing that I really wanted to flag for you right now is um, the f the new results service on GG's, which will be arriving uh, in a day or two. Um, this is actually the page will actually look a little different from this. Um, it should be we'll probably have three blocks across the page um, but what, what's new and different here is that um, we can see there's a typo there as well we can see there's th there are these new boxes for recent results and results search so if I click on recent results um, I can choose any day in the last fortnight uh, let's choose Thursday the 3rd of July and 
um, it instantly brings up the results for that day and you can see how quick that was that, that that's real time um, and if I wanted to if I wanted to look at the 840 result from that day I just click the button there um, and it loads the result in another page um, uh, with all of the details I can then click through to the horse trainer or jockey name from there um, the other thing then is a result search so if I wanted to look for a result further back let's say I wanted to look for a result from the Cheltenham Festival I could choose March here and Tuesday the 11th of March which I happen to know was the Cheltenham Festival uh, and here we are it's the 240 at Cheltenham which was the festival plate I believe the uh, Bayless and Harding affordable, affordable luxury handicap chase also known as the um, festival chase um, and here we can see the result but also we can see the performance of horses out of the race since so we can see the first two home both won um, on their next start their only subsequent start giving the form a fairly solid look um, plenty of others have run since with less success um, what we will have at the bottom is a summary of the subsequent runs um, that isn't there at the moment but we will have that too um, so I think that the um, the new the new results functionality is pretty cool and it's um as you can see it's it's really very quick which is which is awesome uh, I'm re really pleased to add that and um, what, what we'll also be doing is we'll be adding a button to the race cards page um, directly at the top so you can you can whenever you're in the race cards you can click straight through to the results because again that's been a little bit um, they've been a little bit separate in the past um, and we're keen to put that right do keep in mind that most of the good stuff on Gigi's has has appeared only in the last six months so um, it's it, we're really pleased with the progress we've made but it's still very much work in progress um, and I hope you like some of the um, some of the functionality and enhancements we're introducing um, uh, if you're not a member there's a link below where you can get a free trial of course uh, if you are a member then look out for these new changes later in the week and uh, I really hope they they add some value for you this is Matt Bazonio saying thanks for listening and bye for now